question 11 C it says the matrices A and B are given as A is negative 1 0 3 2 and B is 3 2 1 1 4 6 determine A inverse the inverse of A let's do that I copied it here already all right we'll do part one first all right it's here now they want a inverse so let's look at that a inverse a is negative one zero three two no this is a now what is a inverse uh, let me just write it down here you want a inverse first of all it is 1 over the determinant times what is sometimes called a joint matrix right now remember how you get the determinant if you have a matrix two by two matrix a b c d then the determinant is a d so it's this times this minus b c now looking at the position of these numbers it's one over the determinant a d a would be in the same position as negative 1 so it's negative 1 times D would be at 2 minus BC B is upper right which in this case 0 times 3 lower left here now you interchange A and D so you will put since a is in the same position as negative 1 D is in the same position as negative 2 you will interchange negative 1 and I mean D is in the same position as positive 2 you will interchange negative 1 and positive 2 so you put positive 2 up here and negative 1 down here and you change the sign of B and C uh, negative 0 doesn't really make much sense so we write back 0 and then negative 3 so the A inverse is negative 1 by 2 is negative 2 0 by 3 is 0 so you don't have to worry about that and you multiply 2 times negative a half so it's 2 by negative half in this corner um, let me just erase this bracket and put it out further for more space then you have a half anytime you multiply a number by a matrix you just multiply each element in the matrix by that number so it's going to be negative half by zero and negative half by negative three and in this corner negative half by negative one so remember this is the negative half that we're going to what we're really multiplying all right so that's how you would do it but let's go back to it again so it's going to be negative half multiplied by negative half multiplied by two zero negative three negative one so what you have then negative half times all of this negative half by 2 in this case negative half by 0 negative half by negative 3 and here negative half by negative 1 so what you have is negative half by 2 is is negative 1 negative half by 0 is 0 negative half by negative 3 is going to be positive 3 halves 3 over 2 negative half by negative 1 is just positive a half 
So in this case, you have A inverse. Part B says you should multiply A inverse by A. Show that A inverse by A is equal to I. The identity matrix. Do you remember what the identity matrix looks like? We're going to see what happens when we do this multiplication. All right. So here, A inverse is negative one. Remember, I'm just writing back this up here. Ah, uh, three over two and uh, half. Okay, good. You multiply by a. A is negative one, zero, three, two. You're going to multiply them now. All right, so let me just erase this piece of work, make more space. So what happens here? You have rows and columns. What is going to come here is row one, column one, because the top row is row one. This is also in row one, but the right column is column two. The bottom row is row two. The left column is column one. The bottom row is row two and the Right column is column two. So let's see what happens. Row one by column one. Up here is row one. This is row one and we multiply by this column. All right. So Okay, good. So what happens is this. You multiply first element by first element plus second element by second element. You remember that? So row one, column one. Let me just erase the R1, C1 and go on with the working. Row one. First element in row one is negative one times first element in column one is negative one plus seconds now second element in row one is zero times second element in column one three good next is row one column two this is the row one column two position so we must multiply by row one and by, mu multiply row one by column two. First by first plus second by second First element in row one is negative one. Time first element in column two is zero plus seconds now. Second element in row one is zero times second element in column uh, two is two. Good. Next, we have row 2 and column 1. So you must multiply row 2 by column 1. First element in row 2 is 3 over 2 times first element in column 1 is negative 1. So it's first by first. All right. Row 2 by column 1, first by first plus second by second so it's 3 over 2 by negative 1 plus seconds now second element in row 2 is half times second element in column 1 is 3 after that now is row 2 column 2 so you must multiply row 2 by column 2 first elements First in row 2 is 3 over 2 times first in column 2 is 0 plus seconds now. Second in row 2 is half 
times second in column two is two so what happens here now negative one by a negative one is positive one plus zero three zero right so it's just one that will come here here negative one by zero is zero plus zero by two is zero so it's zero plus zero which is zero here lower left negative three by two time no three by two three over two i mean times negative one is negative three over two plus half by three is just three over two and then here now three over two by zero that's zero plus half by two is one so finally we write this is one zero what happens here negative three over two plus three over two well that's zero and then one so that's the identity matrix one zero zero one all right you have ones only in the leading diagonals and everything else is zero all the other elements are zero let's see what else happens here in the question mm -hmm. okay it says the term in the matrix a squared all right so we'll basically multiply a by a let me copy it and paste it somewhere here we'll finish with this so i'm just get rid of this and see what happens when you multiply a by itself so it's a squared all right so this is what they want us to do the term in the matrix a squared now a squared means a by a is going to be negative one zero three two times itself which is negative one zero three two <coughs> so we follow the same pattern as what happened a while ago this is row one by column one because row one and column one will be here first multiplied negative one by negative one positive one plus seconds multiplied zero three zero we're not we're not going to go into as much detail as we did a while ago All right that's row one column one then over here is row one column two so multiply row one by column two All right first elements negative one by zero is zero plus second elements zero by two is zero then here this is in row two column one so multiply row two by column one three by negative one is negative three plus that's the first elements multiplied second elements in multi multiplied now three two by three is six then we have row two column two so multiply row two by column two first element in row two by first element in column two zero times three times zero is zero plus second element in row two by second element in column two two by two is four so what you get is one one plus zero is one zero negative three plus six is three zero plus four is four so this would be a squared so a squared is that all right what else does it say oh it says here explain why 
the matrix product AB is not possible. This is part four, A. All right, let's break it here and do part four A separately a bit later on.